Welcome to this portion of your legal ethics update course. I'm Fred Buck. I've been a licensed inspector here in Texas for about 35 years, master plumber also. Let's take this conversation into the sewer for a while and see if we can talk about flow through sewer pipes and water pipes. Hydrostatic testing is our topic today. Sometimes as you're selling real estate you think, well gee, is my glass half full or is it half empty? Well, in the property condition side of things, we really don't care which it is. We're just concerned if the crack in the glass is going to hold water or not. Let's talk about what hydrostatic can boil down to and we'll look at the sewer piping that carries water. Whenever a pipe is draining, you can see that there may be some water inside the pipe and we'll consider that this pipe is about oh, full of drainage that's going to be flushed down the sewer system, but as you can see, it only has maybe a fourth or a third of water inside the pipe. At the top of the pipe, it's open and allows air to pass. This is normal water flow in a sewer system. Well, let's take a break and I'll plug up the sewer line and show you what hydrostatic testing does to this pipe. Now, as you can see, we've filled the sewer pipe full of water. It's not moving, but the pipe is completely full of water. This piping represents what would happen if hydrostatic testing is being done on a sewer system. But how do we get it full of water to make sure that it's not going to leak? The plumber needs to find a way to fill the sewer line full of water. First thing he does is he finds the main sewer cleanout outside the home. If there is no main sewer clean out, then he has to dig up the line, cut a hole in the pipe, and extend the pipe up to the gr ground or to the surface so that they can add water into the top of the pipe to verify that it's not plugged up, to verify that it will actually hold water. And once they've installed the sewer clean out, then they can insert a ball into the pipe, plug it up, and once they've plugged up the pipe, and they can fill water inside of the system to make sure that it's going to hold water. They let it sit for probably 20 or 30 minutes, making sure that the water level in the pipe stays the same. It doesn't change. After that's been done, they verify that there's no problems. When should you have the hydrostatic testing done? If the house has had foundation repair work, that would be a good time to verify that there's no broken pipes. If the house is 30, 50 years old and may have cast iron piping or broken sewer piping, that'd be a good time to go back and do hydrostatic testing also. Let's look at a sewer pipe that's broken to see what happens when it's filled full of water. So let's take a look at this pipe that's broken and see what impact filling it full of water has. As you can see, by placing a light inside the pipe, you can see that it's cracked or broken you may not be able to see this pipe because it's underneath the slab foundation of your home or in the crawl space. All we have to do is to fill this pipe full of water and see if it leaks. So as you can see, the broken pipe is going to leak. This also gives a place for tree roots to find this crack, find this opening, and the tree roots will grow right into the pipe. So it may not be a problem with hydrating the soils and causing foundation problems. It may actually be tree roots finding an entrance into the pipe and plugging up the pipe and creating other stoppages. When your buyer wants to have hydrostatic testing done, please do whatever you can to assist that process. Remember, licensed master plumbers should do the hydrostatic testing. There is a TREC form that you're encouraged to use that's part of the contract that gives permission for the testing to be done. In sales, sometimes your glass is half full, sometimes your glass is half empty. In this process, we want to make sure that the glass doesn't have any cracks in it. If they're cracked, it may have a leak, and we want to make sure that it's tested properly with hydrostatic testing.